So here we are with Krabby from St. Alfred. Greetings, sir. So, Tell us a little history on St. Alfred. St. Alfred was started to kind of fill the void. It's an image and it's a style and it references a little bit of old mixed with new. You know, it's like modern classics. We want the average customer to come in and be excited by what he's seeing because he's not seeing it elsewhere in the city. Where fashion meets renegade culture. So we're at Wilson Park with your skate team today. Would you, would you even call them a skate team? What we are is a crew. Johnny is pro. Uh, other people just do it for the love. It's just part of the culture. So Johnny, I knew you in SF. What's the scene like in Chicago? Growing up here, it wasn't so easy being a skater because you were so singled out. And now it's like being a skater is not so bad. <gasps> Chicago is finally recognizing skateboarding as like a staple in America and they're, they got our back now. The mayor actually came and said that uh, not all kids are into baseball. Skateboarding is also something that's wow. become accepted, wow. you know? We're all family. It doesn't matter how we look, how we dress, what pros we follow or whose board we buy. It's, a, it's the fact that it's we're all, all skaters. All we're family. all skating. We're all family. We're working with Mike Burrell for our artist. He's been on staff for a couple years now. Uh, he's been involved with a number of projects that we've done. The Mountain Dew logo that I love the most is the one that they developed in the 70s. The piece itself is psychedelic typography. And what if the can gets made? What's that going to be like? Well, that would be probably the biggest dream come true to me, considering I happen to drink it probably two to three cans a day, not even exaggerating. If I got to go up to a shelf and pick it up, I would probably cry. We're with you at the Cubs Sox game today. What was that all about? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's something different. Every year, Cubs play the Sox, Crosstown Classic. And as a kid, I always thought it was cooler outside the stadium. Mm -hmm. I was always wanting to be outside, like trying to catch a ball from over the fence. <laughs> we definitely put the message up yesterday, like, look, we made these shirts. They're only available tomorrow outside the stadium. Uh, if you want it, you should be there. There were some people who definitely knew who we were. Oh yeah, kids were seeking you guys out, I saw it. I think everyone had a good time today, minus that the Cubs lost. I think it's great that Mountain Dew can get involved with us and us get involved with Mountain Dew. We can experience and expose some great art, you know, and, and all the culture that comes with it. I like the fact that they're trying to rejuvenate people's imagination. And if it's getting kids to learn to skate, or get creative with the arts, or think about designing their own can. Um, I'm all for that. All right, Krabby, thanks for all the info, bro. Yeah, man, thank you. We can't show their can, but if you go online to greenlabelart.com, you'll see St. Alfred's design, along with all 34 others. Vote for your favorite. Peace.